In a conversation that I never have with someone else about you, he says, are you mad at her? And I lie boldly or admit loudly, no, she's going through a lot. Who am I to demand respect when she's tittering on her last shred of hope? What I want to say is, as with all doors, mine is always left ajar. I know that the home of me isn't always tidily kept and there's always a ringing, some might say an alarm, baggages kept in hidden closets you find while looking for the bathroom, spilled water from months ago that I've still been too busy to deal with. And by deal with, I mean snare at it from afar and get mad at the cup for all the spilling over it does when too much is poured in it. What I'm saying is that you had more than enough reason to leave me. That part is neither shocking nor inconsistent with our story, yours particularly. Losing someone is losing yourself and finding your body seated in an empty house, no longer a home. And you haven't had the luxury of finding yourself yet. But was I not worthy of a conversation? Words are farewell at the still of my door, a wave goodbye in the closure of my doorway. Well, I guess I can't love you through your grief. You won't let me.